Hey, welcome to this week's segment of uh, No Bones About It Puppy Day School. We're going to be talking about recall. Uh, recall simply means come, call your dog to come to you. And it doesn't have to be the word come. You pick the word, but it needs to be consistent and it needs to be no variations when you're practicing. Meaning if I say come, it's not come here, it's not here. It's happy tone of voice, dog's name. I get that head turn because we've practiced our name game so often. Then I say come, I give the dog a marker word, yes, when they start running towards me, give them lots of encouragement, they get to me and they get the best treats in the world. Uh, so I also want to talk about kind of some the things not to do. We've got five important rules that we need to follow when we're talking about teaching your dog to come to you. And again, these are the what not to do. Never call your dog if the end result, even a few steps down the road, is something that is unpleasant for your dog. Meaning, if your dog is out having fun, playing in the yard, and you say, come, and they come in, and even if you give them cookies, 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 but then they have to go inside, that's not a great result for the dog. Or maybe you're leaving for the day, or you have to crate them, or you need to bathe them, and they hate bathing. Don't use your recall word if the ultimate end result is not something that's amazing for your dog. Um, number two, do not call your dog right now in the learning phase if it is not a time where you are absolutely sure you are going to get your dog to come to you. So what does that mean? Um, there's a lot of times when I need to get my dog to come to me and I'm not sure what they're gonna do. Oh, well, you got a bunch of dogs wandering around here right now and I can give you a, an example. Hey, So I can use lots of um, happy language, pup, pup, pups, um, all kinds of things, clap my hands, squeaky, squeaky toy. I can do all kinds of things that don't require me to use the word come unless I am absolutely sure that my dog's already on their way or that I'm gonna get the correct result. Um, so that's number two. Number three, if you do use your recall word, and your dog seems ambivalent or is not coming to you, you've got to figure out how to make it happen. Um, run in the opposite way. Do some of the things I suggested. Make clappy, happy clapping noises. Pop, pop, pops. Hi, what's it doing over there? You're sleeping under there. Um, get a treat and lure them in towards you. That's not my first choice ever, but if you've already used that recall word, we have got to figure out a way to make it happen. Uh, and then repeating your command. Do not get in the habit of repeating your cue, okay? So it shouldn't be come, 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 come. Once you've said the word, if your dog is on the way, great. Then you can become a cheerleader. Yes, you're doing such a good job, but you're not repeating that cue. It's just like name game. We wanna say that dog's name one time. We wanna get eye contact. Maybe the dog's already in motion. Then you're saying the word come, you're using your marker word, yes, letting them know that they are doing such a good job and then they get to you. And the fifth rule of recall is that fabulous treats get fabulous recalls. Pick something your dog never gets for anything other than coming to you. Um, maybe it's salmon, maybe it's uh, roast chicken. I don't know, maybe it's hamburger from last night, maybe it's string cheese, maybe it's hot dogs. It should be something that your dog thinks is about the best thing that's ever happened. Because if you think about it, your dog coming to you is about the best thing that you could teach them. It allows them all kinds of freedoms in their life. And, it re and it's also just a pure safety factor. So think about how important that is. Think about, uh, don't be doling out kibble. Don't be doling out just like everyday treats. When I'm practicing recall, I'm using the best treats that I can find for my puppy. Um, Okay, so let's really quickly review the five rules of recall. Um, you are never gonna call your puppy if the end result is not amazing. Number two, you are not going to call your puppy, whoopsie, if you're not sure he's gonna come to you. And what is that, again, all that means is you're not gonna use your word come. 
you're not going to use your recall word. There's a million other ways to get your puppy to come over to you. Um, number three, we are going to make sure that if we do use our recall word come and your puppy is not doing what that behavior means, we got to figure out a way to make it happen. Um, number four is that we never want to get in the habit of repeating the cues. We don't want to say come, 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 and then the dog gets to us and they get their fabulous treat. Um, one time, one time only. And then number five, fabulous treats get fabulous recalls. Um, so how do we train the recall? We basically want to start off, and you've seen me do it many times, but we're going to start off by using our name game. So all it is is your dog's name. You should be practicing that so much that your dog doesn't even question looking at you and coming towards you because they know that good things are going to happen. But name game, the dog makes eye contact, is engaged with you, then, or maybe even moving towards you, you're going to say the word come in a really happy tone of voice. Stop and then you are going to maybe even move, run away from your dog to get some... Something went wrong. Oh my Please God. try again. Siri is talking to me. Stop. So we're gonna say, come in a very happy tone of voice. We're gonna move away from our dog when we call them. We're gonna move in the opposite direction. That kicks in your dog's instinct to chase a moving target. You're never gonna to wanna to move towards them when you call them. You're gonna to wanna to back away from them. And once they start moving and are gaining some speed, use your marker word, yes! That tells them that they are doing exactly what you're looking for. And then as they get to you, then you pull out and produce your rewards, your most fabulous rewards that they don't get for anything else. Um, and you want to start in really low distracting environments where you know that you can be successful. So in the house, um, you know, uh, room to room, on a deck, pick times when your dog is hungry. Those are great training times um, across the board. So anytime you can get successful repetitions is building that muscle memory. That's what we're looking for. So work on your recall this week, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Good job. All right, we're gonna work on some recall. Ready? Go find it. Pacho! Yes! Good job, baby! That was so good. So good. Okay, we're gonna toss a little piece of kibble. Go. Pacho! Yes! tossing kibble to get the puppy away from us and then adding oh you're so fast and then adding some backwards motion away from the puppy Pacho come yes I'm doing that little collar grab I'm trying to be very gentle about that because Pancho doesn't love that part go Pancho yes come very good very good the name game with Susie she's still if she's distracted by something she is not um, super quick to walk away and find me when she hears her name so I really want to work on that as my basis for recall All right, let's go find it Susie yes the level of engagement is just not where I want it to be for working on recall so I'm going to keep just practicing her name game a little bit. Susie! Yes! Good job. Very good. Maybe I'll give you a couple extra incentives. Yeah. Let's go to her. Ready? 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 Oh, oh boy. Susie! So you can see in that example how I said her name and yes she was making her way towards me but she kept her nose on the ground the entire time I really want name game to be I say her name and you are immediately engaged with me eyes kind of locked in with me so we got to keep working on that ready Susie yes a little better I'm gonna try just a little bit 
shorter. Susie! I'm yes, and I'm waiting for her to look up at me. Okay, keep her head off the ground. Open up. Susie! Yes. All right, and then I can add some shorter recalls. Ready? Susie, go! Yes, right there! Backing away from her to try to get a little bit of speed up. Susie! Yes! Susie! Yes! Come! That was great. That was a really nice one. So I'm going to give her extra cookies for that. Very good. Okay, so that means I'm setting my dog up for success. Not practicing in an area where I don't think I can get their correct response. Not practicing in a place where I'm calling the dog away from things that are so ultimately distracting. I really want to have high, high, high levels of success every time I use my recall word. And if I don't think I'm going to get it, I'm not going to use the word come really important. Also using the same word in the same tone every time. I'm not using a version of come. I'm not saying here, come here, over here. I'm very succinct about the word that I use and I'm using it when I already have that dog engaged, meaning I've said their name, they're on their way, I'm adding that recall word. Okay, good job.